For decades, directed energy weapons were little more than science fiction, a futuristic promise that was always 10 years away. That timeline just collapsed. The Pentagon is no longer viewing lasers as experimental curiosities. They are becoming a tactical necessity. The catalyst for this shift is brutal battlefield mathematics. In modern conflicts, firing a $2 million Patriot missile to intercept a cheap plastic drone is a strategic failure. The US military is bleeding money to shoot down flying lawnmowers. This financial asymmetry has forced a transition from the laboratory to the front line. Enter the new generation of high energy lasers. Systems like the 50 kilowatt DEM Shorad are already mounting on striker vehicles. These are not death rays meant to blow up moons. They are precise, invisible heat beams designed to burn through drone wings and sensors in seconds. The primary advantage is the bottomless magazine. As long as the vehicle has fuel, it has ammo. The cost? Pennies per shot. However, the path isn't entirely smooth. Engineers are currently battling the laws of physics to scale these systems up to 300 kilowatts for intercepting cruise missiles. Issues with beam control and massive thermal output remain. Yet, the turning point is undeniable. Lasers are stepping out of the realm of fantasy to become the bottom tier of air defense. They won't replace missiles, but they will ensure that expensive interceptors are saved for the targets that truly matter.